surprising for you, but you know, for me, it's a it's a it's a place I've been wanting to come to for a long time. And I work a lot with inspiration from literature, uh, and a book uh, by Salman Rushdie, Moore's Last Sigh, was something that impressed me very much. And it starts with the pepper train in Cochin. So uh, Pepper House really evoked that whole novel for me, and it was very exciting to be in that space. Um, and therefore, you know, uh, looking at it from the point of view of uh, Salman's book and his take on the pepper tray is what uh, impressed me a lot. And therefore, I felt the need to uh, connect. But the sign language that I saw on the walls was very uh, interesting because, I mean, that comes from the Bharatanatyam tradition of dance, I believe. Uh, but mine uh, comes from uh, American Sign Language, which is a very e efficient way of uh, speaking for the deaf and the dumb. <clears throat> and it's a one-hand one sign language. So I wanted to connect my uh, uh, research into sign language with what I saw on the walls. And it's the sign language I, I've used in my work has to do with hysteria, not being able to finally communicate with words, but gestures, and gestures that have a meaning um, through the dictionary of sign language. Uh, the word hysteria has, a has had a pejorative uh, sense uh, because of the Freudian take on it, but with the newer writing by feminist scholars like Judith Butler, uh, you have another reading of that word. So the idea of hysteria being an ailment that is in the area of the female, it's now taken on a whole other meaning. Uh, it is really to do with communication, and a communication at a more point when nobody is listening, you know, it's like saying, God sake, listen, you know, and this is not madness. Um, so these were the things that went into my mind when I saw those uh, hand movements. I have worked a lot in situ, in spaces, um, with temporary uh, uh, material and also um, uh, with drawings on the wall as uh, ephemeral uh, uh, artwork. Um, and for me, that is a take from my own interest in theatre. Because in theatre you remember afterwards what you've seen. Therefore, I like the idea of taking away a memory rather than a product. In a way, it works against the whole idea of making a product out of an artwork, for which I have a real problem, you know, and I wish, ideally speaking, it was otherwise. But it's good that from time to time one is able to do things of this nature, especially in the context of Biennale, which is not a commercial arena, not like an art fair, for example. Uh, and I like that very much, but the idea of taking away a memory, you might yourself afterwards, uh, um, you know, intermingle what you've seen of my work with your own um, baggage and that becomes again a new thing. So for me an artwork is a triangular situation. The artwork itself, you the viewer and me the artist. So together we make the artwork. It's not only me, it's together. Yes. You see, And it's all our memories together yes. which is what is enriching finally and extends our area of living and life and which is one reason. Very historical moment. And it's wonderful that it's happening here in Cochin, in, in, in the old fort area, because there's so much history. Yes. And it's a very different is history as we know it from Maharashtra or from uh, the north uh, uh, in New Delhi, etc. This is a totally special uh, history here. Cochin especially has a, uh, it's a cauldron of cultures. Mm -hmm. And it's a cauldron of cultures, as the little I know about it, needs to delve deeper into the history is that nothing was imposed. If there's Islam here, it wasn't forced on people. There was, it's, you know, it wasn't that there was a ruler who said, you know, there has to be conversions and that, that kind of proselytizing did not exist. It was a very gentle um, way of uh, adapting, uh, adopting a, a religion. And it's the same for um, the, the Jew Jewish uh, people. Uh, it's, they, were, they were welcome here, there was no persecution and uh, therefore all these cultures together have melded and formed what we know today of Cochin and that's what's beautiful and I think that's really something that can be an example for the other parts of India which are really in some areas burning. Yes. So in that sense it is a, a, a sort of a beacon of hope.